সব থেকে ভালো আমার মেমোরি হচ্ছে মোহন বাগানের মাঠ ছেড়ে পালিয়ে যাওয়া মোস্ট ইন্টারেস্টিং অ্যান্ড ফানি থিং আই কুড রিমেম্বার আই ওয়াজ বর্ন ইন নাইনটিন সিক্সটি সেভেন ইন দ্য ইয়ার্স নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি ফাইভ ইস্ট ফুটবল ম্যাচ এগেনস্ট মোহন বাগান ইন দ্য আইএফ ইল ফাইনাল অ্যান্ড দ্য স্কোর ওয়াজ ফাইভ মিল মোস্ট প্রবাবলি আফটার দ্যাট আই ওয়াজ ফুললি অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ বেঙ্গল কাপ Uh, we have the absolute pleasure this afternoon of being joined from Kolkata by Mr. Uh, Samajpati who has taken out the time uh, despite his sort of not ideal health to join us in this sort of celebration of 100 years of East Bengal and to talk to us about his time with the club, his association with the club, a club that he's played, not only played for but also captain. Uh, Mr. Samajpati has of course been a part of the Indian team on several occasions including the team that finished second. at the AFC Asian Cup in uh, 1964 uh thank you sir for uh, for taking the time to chat with Jaydeep and I this uh, this evening so i would like to begin with just your personal association with east bengal both uh, as it were as a player as it developed but before that as a as someone who is following football as a, as a youngster growing up uh what was the impression that east bengal left on you and and sort of how did it fit in with your idea of football in in india at the time you know i first of all joined mohan bagan club in 1960 yes in the captain of first division league i played for a year with uh, with aerial club uh, the, the very second year i i joined mohan bagan club and because of certain circumstances difficult circumstances I had to switch to East Bengal club but I can tell you one thing I had all the love and all the pleasure after having signed for East Bengal club there is no doubt about it and it was in 1969 the year was 1961 I'm sorry 1961 and that year we had a bunch of footballers who were really of a very high standard apart from balram orun ghosh they were all there but there were at least 5 6 new entrants to east bengal club that year in 1961 and our coach was under the guidance of mr sushil bhattacharjee he was a wonderful coach and a fine gentleman too he built up the side in the, size, the east bengal team in such a manner that we had a tremendous team spirit which was built by uh, all of us with with the efforts of all the players and also the coach sushil watacharji so the very first match from the very first match we started um, you know winning the first match against was against police the second was vienna vienna incidentally i said i tell you that was my second match with this bengal club and i scored a goal which was something of a uh, what should i say magnificent goal as people say because after having eluded past seven people seven opp- opposition defenders i didn't know i didn't uh, uh, at least i could not while i, I was playing i could <laughs> not uh, see the numbers i i, I had dodged past but i was t- t- tell, told later on that it was seven people i dodged past and then sh- sh- shot into the goal it was just in, it was just outside the our penalty box so i i got the ball from ram mahadu i started running running and dodge dod- dodging past dodge past about seven people as i told you i was told later on by by the people uh, the supporters and the members mm-hmm. and after having eluded so many defenders i could see the bear and goal uh, just from the top of the box of bnr club, club and i took the shot and by the grace of god it was a correct shot and Uh, i there there after i i don't know what happened you know but then whenever i meet anybody any calcutta not only any any anybody loving is to like like is to welcome or a supporter of is to welcome 
any football loving people of calcutta whenever they beat p at at this age of mind they refer to that goal that we we can never forget that goal against bela mm. you know second match it was mm. and uh, one after another we start, uh, started winning matches that is how uh, we met is mohan bagan in the first leg of league um, and balaram was in great form in, in that year you know balaram porun ghosh mm. as i told you and if you uh, really forgive me um, it may amount to saying something about myself i was also in a good form, very good form so so and as, as i told you the the team was wonderfully built by sushil bhattacharya so when we met in the first match against mohan bagan it was evenly played it was a evenly played match but balram scored a wonderful goal by by covering jarnel singh stopper of mohan bagan club so wonderfully he covered and he left jarnel on his right in his back and he he took a left footed drive it just entered the corner of the net through the corner of the net of mohan bagan and that goal filled their fate so we won the match but the detail league was something of a different tale when we met in the detail league we were on a par on a par in 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 respect of points right so we had to win the match to to steer steer steer, steer oh, us right. out so and our defender urun ghosh he actually throughout the years played so well what happened you know uh, in in uh, any of the matches we just before the match we used to take a um, bath we take a bath and then we without talking to with anybody we used to uh, dress up that day urun showed up at the tent Uh, a bit late, and he was unlike his normal self. He was doing something which was not to the liking of other footballers. We couldn't follow why he was doing like that, but we could later on after the match we could follow why he was doing. He was doing like that. That match, in particular, between Churi Goswami and Arun Ghosh. Two three moves by Churi Goswami after in eluding past about say four five defenders of our club, he was confronted with Orun Ghosh, and Orun had a wonderful, uh, you say, as a defender, he has he had certain uh, distinctive distinctive points in his play. Mm-hmm. What he did. in the very first move that churi was when churi was confronting him just to deceive churi he stretched his left foot so that churi will will try to elude past through his right yeah the same and the it worked so wonderfully churi did that and it was and he was pretty prepared for that orun orun mm. was prepared for that and he just stretched the ball from orun ghosh i mean churi goes from it was the i did it was an identical move again in some about in the in the same second half itself identical move after about say 5 6 minutes then this time orun gave another thing which complicated matters for churi he stretched his right foot you know and and churi wanted to dodge past him through his left again he got stuck by orun ghosh so it was a tremendous performance by orun ghosh we won that match and on that day itself we became the champions of his champions of calcutta league and it was after long long eight years the last time east bengal were um, champions was in 1953 Mm. so that is how 
1961 started ye yeah, uh, uh, sukumada sukumada i will i will uh, uh, i will ask you i wanted to ask you one question which i am looking please, please, for a that long, is, that long, would be comfortable for me uh, uh, for see you have played in east bengal in a club at a time when east bengal was not today's east bengal us east bengal were 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 known as the club of the have nots if mohan bagan was a club of the have who who had all the all the things in the corridors of power whether it is writers building or at the or, or at the or the at the ruling party's office i don't want to uh, get into explain but east bengal was known as a club which is for the club for the deprived club for the have nots clubs who have people who have come from across the because of the partition have come to this this side of the uh, country so since you have played in both the clubs i would like to ask you how was your impression about the general feeling of the fans in the east bengal club those ah, days it's a very good, good question i was about to say that in fact as you said after the partition there was a tremendous exodus from east bengal i mean eastern part of india and and influx of all the refugees to west bengal and most of them lost their hearth and homes and most of them got killed by by pakistani goods is pakistani goods um, in in a number of cases you know so there were nothing no light before them to to look before you know that was they were all suffering from a tremendous sense of frustration at that time east bengal were the beacon of light before them you know and east bengal team were tremendous at that time the forward line was vikas shabed sadar jafarao sare and backs were b bosh munkesh bosh and taj mohammad taj mohammad taj mohammad yes sir paul to roy so many others so that was the gleam of light for the refugees you know although it was very difficult for them to save a a a few others you few few by say they could somehow save six six or seven others and as it, it it used to be called as as you may be doing no yeah yeah and yeah. they would all flock to the ground you know to see east bengal and after having seen the wonderful display of the east bengal players they thought this thought that they were getting again rejuvenated in their minds you know so they were finding that some light was there before light was there in front of them and that is how they started you know societal matter that is how they started again to build themselves you know that was the greatest contribution of east bengal club to those people and contribution of those people again by becoming the members of east bengal club which went on swell swelling 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 in that year you know that is what the very question that you put that is why have not this has been called a club of have nots and those of mohan bagan have been have been called haves you know yeah. so i would say this football club not only played spectacular football at that time this football club were very much responsible for building up again the lives of millions of people coming from east bengal sukumanda has sukumanda has the has the character of the fans has changed since then because when you were playing as you said that it was the club of the have not those days club for the deprived club for those who have who have come from other other side of the partition of the of the of the subcontinent has the character of the uh, club and has the character of the fans have changed to an extent you think these days now 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 yeah comparing comparing with the pre, with the time no, of that, yours no but that is bound to happen you know because yes. after all they are now all set uh, 
in 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 this in their lives you know in the yes, settled settled they, settled in, in the, their life huh, yeah. in the life they let 40s or 50s the position was altogether different the condition and that is why they are but i would tell you one thing i have continued saying this on any forum uh, on any occasion that the kind of love that players receive from east bengal fans and members and supporters it is un unparalleled i like i can tell you this boosts up players you know boosts up boost boost boosts up players to perform all the better nay what was the general payment in the 60s in east bengal club one of the top players how much they used to get maybe you or, or arun ghosh or balram or anybody uh, what yeah, balram balram definitely used to get much more okay than others here i can't, can't check the temptation of another incident you know that related to 1950s amit khan was was the sinusoid of the eyes of all the football loving people of calcutta and so was shoydan manna in mohanlal club and manna the both of them respected uh, each other in a wonderful manner you know so manna the thought that if we could we could get amit khan along with sattar on the left right hand side it would be a wonderful team so he raised this issue with amit khan amit said amit was a little cunning you know he said okay i'm i'm ready to join mohanlal club so manada was very delighted and he told it to jail the also but just before the uh, appointed date he came to east bengal tent man uh, amit khan and asked for a uh, blank check of the club's account from jyotish da jyotish da was a little startled but he didn't answer who uh, tell a question to amit khan because he knew that amit is very cunning he had something back in his mind you know so he got it and and the, and the very next day it was the appointment with dilende and manada so accordingly amit khan went there to golbagan office in dalhousie square so in the beginning dilende uh, was very delighted that we are very happy that you you have after all at the request of manna you have exit to come to golbagan club but before that he said but before uh, the deal is achieved i would say one thing he, he took, took out the check from his pocket and put it on the table he said that i will ask shoilan manna to put any amount here and this would be a quick pro quo you know i will be signing for mohan bagan and manna will be signing for his trade hall is refreshing for us to hear over time when conversations around uh, material gain were not the only focus now if you look at uh, not just in india but around the world football how it's going and how players go from one club to another it's all about money essentially yeah. but uh, there are also the real consideration how did first division footballers manage to then survive and continue their passion for for the game if uh, you know things like salaries were so unstructured no you know that time money was not really that big a factor at that time although you know the players and the players had one definitely advantage who uh, those who played well they used to be provided by different offices you know mm. banks and offices right. like i got it which state bank of india and before that churi goswami joined as probationary officer so did i i i joined in 64 churi goswami joined in 1961 so so the money that it, that used to be paid uh, you know from <coughs> from players like us who hail from very low middle class families 
the money that we got, say, 4,000 4, or 5,000 or 6,000, and that, that has given the value at that time. So that was utilized in a very wonderful manner. Like uh, when I got uh, from in 1961 from East Bengal Club, 3,500 rupees, you know, to start with East mm. Bengal. I gave it, uh, whatever I got, I, I used to give it to my mother. Mm. And my mother in return used to uh, <coughs> give a part of it, say, Bye. 200 or 300 rupees to be Back paid, to you. you know. Yeah. So yeah. from that amount, you know, my mother, my father was a definitely a sage-like person. He did not have anything in mind to, to make, um, you know, houses or something like that. But my mother was very clever in this. So he purchased a plot of land in Behala, for the sea, for the sea colony in Behala. Uh, we, with my, with the money that I got from East Bengal Club in the very first year right. with that. That is how we players hailing from, uh, coming from all middle class families, you know, got our, uh, our, um, what should I say, our families stabilized right. in life, you know. Sir, we, what I wanted to ask you, what was ah. the difference between Mohan Magan fans and East Bengal fans? Was the East, East fans, fans, and was the East Bengal fans more, more aggressive? Definitely more impulsive, I would say. More impulsive East Bengal supporters and members are more impulsive, no doubt about it. And whenever they love anybody and anything, they go all out, you know. Mohan Magan also, but Mohan Magan, because of the tremendous, uh, what should I say, glory behind them, which started from 19, 1911 by beating Yorkshire in IFC, they had a place of pride in, in every member and every supporter of the club, you know. So they used to take themselves as something superior to <laughs> uh, those of you, which is not a fact, actually, you know, it should not be the fact. Uh, so it is, it is like that, you know. But uh, once a player play for East Bengal, he would love to continue with East Bengal only. I can say, so, such is the atmosphere, such is the wonderful atmosphere prevalent between the officials and the and the players, and that between the um, supporters and the members and the players, you know. That particular thing is all, of course, they are in Mohan Magan Club also. They are, their supporters also go mad sometimes. But there is a degree of difference between what they do and what the um, supporters and members of East Bengal Club do. You know. My question was to you was, uh, are you happy with the way the club is being run at the moment? Not really. Not okay. really. I, I frankly speak, uh, tell you about the foundation day of East Bengal Club. While we played for East Bengal, we were not in the know of the foundation day of East Bengal Club, you know. But we all loved because it's a uh, tremendously glorious organization, both Mohan Nagan and East Bengal. And they used to be called arch rivals always. So, the, the thing which paid me very much, Mohan Magan Club will be joining ISL al along with ATK and East Bengal, what to speak of getting a new, um, you know, financier, whatever the financier was there, you know, I mean, what is his name, I forget. Quest. 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 Huh. They lost it. And they are still in search of a, of a of an organization like that. And this really pains me. And this is subtle because uh, I, I went through the paper and I have seen that, that the joining ISL this year is almost, is, or not almost, is closed. That will not happen in this year. And that pains me tremendously because, and, and not only me, 
it feeds everybody in whoever is a football loving person in calcutta it feeds everybody because they will not see their their clubs bohun magar and east bengal their choice choice of clubs and they will not meet in this tournament in, in this isl tournament that is one very sorry part of it i i, I would tell you and nobody is happy about it no my only last question to you was that what will be your message yeah, to the new new age east bengal club and east bengal fans what will be your message as someone who has watched the east bengal club for the last 60 years you know as i said it is very unfortunate that east bengal club has not found a place in isl this year but i would only look forward to getting some financial at least to come forward to to help east bengal club and i don't think the 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 manner in which the club is being run now um is to the liking of east bengal supporters you know that has to be there has to be with the financial no you have to be uh, you know quite understanding you have to be quite understanding who who is financing the club's affairs so i have to have respect for for them likewise they they have they have to have, have respect for the club officials and the club club's members and supporters you know if that thing can be achieved i i suppose although this year is well only out of question Uh, to join isl from the very next year i suppose that that would be possible and my only um, wish and my mm, to the umpteen supporters of east bengal club to hold themselves with bated breath to hold themselves and to look forward to something very good coming from from the next year onwards ठीक है ऑन दैट ऑप्टिमिस्टिक नोट मिस्टर सुकुमार समाजपति थैंक यू सर सो मच फॉर टेकिंग अस टू ऑफ कोर्स प्लेसेस व्हिच वी हैव हैड नॉट इवन इमेजिन यू नो व्हेन यू वर सेइंग यू क्लोज योर आईज एंड 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 यू इट टेक्स यू बैक टू दोस गो सम ऑफ दीस मोमेंट्स थ्रू योर करियर एंड योर टाइम विद ईस्ट बंगाल इवन फॉर अस आई थिंक लिसनिंग टू यू इट टुक अस बैक टू एट लीस्ट you know because also for a new generation whatever images we have of that time are largely in black and white but if you so, close your eyes I, for you the, it didn't happen in black and white so so uh, thanks likewise, for bringing that likewise, to life for us somehow a little bit i likewise i uh, thank you very much for having given me this opportunity to tell something about east bengal club in the club's centenary year so uh, it is all great i am grateful to you and it is a uh, you know mutual respect between you and me and i am really thankful to you i mean this is indebted to you that you have allowed me to say something about this bengal club its past particularly its past and about the time i played in this bengal club thank you thank you so much sir definitely thank and so i think jaydeep will agree when when i if i say that the pleasure has definitely been all ours oh, all ours absolutely yeah. all right. absolutely uh, we have thank you so much pleasure really. was mine you know the pleasure was mine really pleasure was mine